Hey y'all, Mike here. So I've covered patio furniture in a previous video, but I didn't spend a ton of time talking about hammocks. And with it being nice and hot outside, probably spending a lot of time outdoors, figured it was a good time to revisit that topic and talk about all of the hammocks that are made in America. I'm also covering four brands at the end of the video that are pretty popular that are not made in the USA and uncovering where they're actually made. And of course, we have links to all of our written research in the description below, as well as the cards at the top of the video that's going to have all of the American manufacturers that we cover today, plus a few more that I don't have time to mention, and a ton of sourcing tips and shopping tips for finding American-made hammocks. So that includes stuff like material sourcing and the state of the manufacturing industry and a ton of other information. All right, let's get started. Today I have time to cover five great American-made hammocks, so if I miss any of your favorites, definitely give them a shout out in the comments below. First up is Nags Head Hammocks. These folks are based in the Outer Banks area of North Carolina and make some great hammocks, but also manufacture swings and other outdoor furniture. Everything's really built to withstand harsh outdoor conditions. So they use a material called Duracord, which is super durable, but also pretty comfortable. And unfortunately, they use some South American hardwoods, but everything's handcrafted in their Outer Banks based workshops. They have a lot of different style options to choose from as well. So Nags Head is a good option. Next up is Polly's Island Hammocks. These folks can trace their origin all the way back to the 1800s. They make some really high quality rope hammocks that you can hang out on your patio or front porch. Similar to Nags Head, they're really built to withstand a lot of those harsh outdoor conditions. So they're using the same Duracord rope material and they are sourcing a lot of their hardwoods from forests in the southeastern United States, which is great to see. You can also go check out their original hammock shop, which was built in 1935 and still in Polly's Island, South Carolina. Next up is Cobble Mountain. Cobble Mountain's based in East Corinth, Vermont, and makes some really great hanging swings. Everything's handmade in their workshop using locally harvested oak and super eco-friendly rope and sealant. These chairs are great because you can really adjust them to however you want. So you can adjust the height, you can really recline and stretch them out to be more like a traditional hammock, but they're really great, really flexible, and you can put them in your home or outside on your patio. Next up is Chrysalis Hammocks. These folks are based in Texas and have been around since 1977. They actually got their start going around to a bunch of different Renaissance festivals in the area, but you can also buy all of their hammocks online and everything's hand woven, hand stained and hand built in their local workshop. Chrysalis hammocks hang from a single point on your ceiling, but they can also stretch out as well. So you can really adjust them to however you like to sit and lounge. And the last brand I'll mention in today's video is Hummingbird Hammocks. These folks are based in Monument, Colorado. If you need something for camping, these guys are it. They make very ultralight, small packing hammocks that are made from authentic parachute materials. Their entire production process is very sustainable and they source most of their materials from US suppliers as well. They're actually really transparent about their entire supply chain and all the materials that they use in their hammocks, which is really refreshing for us. So all of the main materials like the ripstop nylon, the cording, and a lot of the other stuff that goes into the primary hammock is all US sourced. They unfortunately have a few materials that are sourced from China, but it's a fairly negligible part of the overall hammock. That's going to be the button, the drawstring, and the cord lock. But overall, Hummingbird hammocks are a really solid option and decently affordable, coming in at around 70 to 80 bucks for their basic hammock. All right, now let's cover some of the popular brands in the industry and where they're actually made. First up is Eno Hammocks. So Eno is a super popular brand in the hammock industry, especially in the outdoor gear market. And unfortunately, pretty much all of their hammocks and other gear are manufactured in various factories around Asia. And a few other to avoid, Wise Al, they're made in China. Yellow Leaf is another popular manufacturer. Unfortunately, they're all made in Vietnam. And then Sea to Summit is the last one that I would avoid as well. Pretty much all of their stuff is outsourced. Alrighty y'all, that's it for hammocks. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. As always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American made. See y'all next time.